Hey guys, Zachary Jervis Training. So in today's video, we're going to talk about updates for me, plus future events coming up in the hobby that a lot of people are really excited about. So let's go ahead and jump in this video. Okay, as I said in the opening there, we're going to talk, I'm going to give you some updates about myself, and we're going to talk about future events that are coming up in the hobby that may or may not be known as York. It's kind of a big deal, right? Um, and for the one person that's watching this video that has no idea what York is. I mean, there's always that one person, right? Uh, I'm going to do my best to give you a quick little explanation. Okay, so start off with the updates about me. I've, uh, I've decided to sell my collection and retire from trains. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's silly. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Not selling my collection. Um, no, uh, I got... A little update is, I, if you don't know, I live in Florida and there's a hurricane here. And I'm just super bored today, so I figured I'd get on here and make a video and run my mouth about complete nonsense. Seems to work for me. So for you 10 guys that are subscribed to my channel, there you go. Let's get after it. So uh, I am actually sitting in a hurricane right now. It's uh, not super bad where I live, so it's super windy and rainy. It's about it. So it's basically like a normal day in Florida, just with a lot more wind. Um, now, as far as the trains part goes... Uh, I haven't been messing with trains that much. Uh, I've got other hobbies. I have a, a 71 Chevelle that I'm currently putting back together. And I was thinking, if you guys are interested, I can make some content about the Chevelle, upload it to another YouTube channel, and uh, that way we could have two channels to post crusty videos on instead of one. It's a great idea, right? If not, tell me I'm stupid and you don't really care. It's fine. It doesn't bother me either way. But if you are interested, let me know, and I'll try to figure out a way to make some uh, content about working on the Chevelle or build motors. I build I build motors for other things besides cars. So let me know if you guys are interested in that because um, I kind of want to do it, but I kind of just kind of want to do it. If nobody cares, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody wants to see, let me know. I'll do it. Now there's that part, and then uh, the other part is for as far as this YouTube channel. I did a live stream like two weeks ago with uh, my buddy Matt Suzuha. Like you can hear him in the live stream. Uh, YouTube is Matt Chandler 9943. He's a friend of mine. Um, it was a crusty, horrible live stream. But I had a lot of fun. Um, I kind of like to do this again. If you guys are like into it and want to like be a part of it or watch the uh, watch the madness unfold, let me know. Um, so like the the concept is like to do a live stream where we talk about trains. And college football, right? So I'm a big college football fan. I'm a Florida State fan. Um, so if you guys are wanting to participate in this live stream, we can talk about football and trains. Like, you know, like, I don't know, maybe like an hour, two hours, whatever it is. You know, like, if you guys want to do it, let me know. I'd like to do it again. It was, it was fun. Uh, my buddy Matt, he really enjoyed it. Um, it was complete disaster zone. Like, <laughs> I had this idea this would be a good idea, and then I started doing it. It was... Didn't, work out the way I wanted to so um if you guys are interested let me know we can take a look at how we did that and or how to do that better and we can we can do that again so let me know what you guys think about that now let's talk about this York so if you're the one person watching this video uh they got roped in here by the magical YouTube search machine welcome to the uh Thunderdome uh the York train show is the largest train show in the country or the world or whatever they say it is i don't know it's, it's huge there's a lot of a lot of buildings a lot of people and when i say train show it's more like you go there and buy trains now there will be a lot of the big vendors there um here mth will be there uh ross custom switches will probably be there like a lot of the a lot of the vendors will be there unless you bitched up <clears throat> lionel that's that's where you fit in lionel congratulations now um it's gonna be cool it's always cool to see the, the 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 manufacturers and what products they bring, and you know you can actually talk to them. And if you got answer or got questions, they can give you a lot better answer there than than you're going to get from the OGR forum and all the old crusty dudes on there getting mad at you for asking a question. So um, it's super super fun time at York. I went last year. Um, you might guys might remember the shirt, the the Branch Line shirt. A bunch of the the younger guys, like my age and younger, were wearing these. And I'm not really associated with that group too much anymore, so probably won't see me in this shirt at york but if you guys do see me feel free to come uh come up and say hi to me i will talk to you i know i look like an angry person <laughs> really not i'm super chill so if you come if you see me just come say hi or whatever and uh, it'll be cool to meet some of you guys 
I know some of you guys that watch my videos comment a lot, and I like, would like to meet you guys for sure because I, I feel like I talk to you guys all the time. Anyway, so just come holler at me. Now, I do know a lot of the other big YouTubers are going to be at York this year. Uh, my buddy Eric, you might know his YouTube channel, Eric's Trains. He's going to be there. Um, Chris from Chris's Trains and Things will be there. My buddy Sid from Sid's Trains, he'll be there. RJ from RJ's Trains will be there unless he retired again or who knows what that guy's doing. Um, RBP Trains will be there. Probably some other people that I, I can't think of, but uh, it'll be a good time. So if you guys have never been to York, I suggest everybody goes to York at least once. If you're in this hobby, like you should go. It's cool. You're going to find something to buy. You're going to spend some money. So with that being said, what am I actually looking for at York this year? Hmm. Well, obviously, I'm a collector of the Vision Lines. So any black box, I'd be down to. I'm, I, I am picking up a Vision Line engine at York, which we will not name. Suzuha, do not put in the comments. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, so... Always looking for more Vision Line engines. A Vision Line Jivo would be great, but I'm sure I, if I find one, I'll find one for a price I don't want to pay, which is about how a lot of the Vision Line stuff goes anymore these days. So, what am I actually looking for? Well, the past two months, I bought two Vision engines. I bought an 844, I bought a 412 2, 280. I mean, I'm my wants list is shrinking very rapidly, so I'm not real sure what I'm actually looking for. Um, maybe another MTH Premier Y3 would be good. Um, maybe another Lionel B&O Legacy EM1 would be good. I don't really have anything on my, on my wants list. Yeah, I, I'll take that back. A Santa Fe DL109 or whatever that Albatross thing is called. I think they look cool. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm looking for. That, that, the DL-109 would be cool, but uh, who knows? I actually intend on not buying any engines. I lied. I lied. I'm sure I'll find something to buy, but uh, there's no plan of what I'm looking for this year. I've been very lucky to acquire a whole mess of engines that were on my list of engines to buy. Um, there's one behind me, the Texas Special, third one down, so... I'm, uh, I'm just looking to go up there and maybe run into some people I know and uh, have a good time. So if you guys aren't going to York, I suggest that you do. And I'm sure I'll make a York recap video when I get back from York and show you all the things that I bought. But uh, that'll do it for this video, guys. I just want to get on here during a hurricane. I was bored and flat my mouth for approximately eight minutes. So I have 15 seconds to wrap this up. So um, if you guys are going to York, you see me? Come talk to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are you guys looking for at York? If you are going, if you're not going, um, that sucks. But uh, thanks to all you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a like and a comment below. I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Until next time, see you guys.